widely considered and talked about as some of the best wings in London. Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Review Club. We're on familiar territory here today at Chicken Sours, Callum. It might be overcast, a bit gloomy, and a bit moody here in London, but the sunshine is well and truly here in terms of food. Check these out. That's the K-pop burger. This is the Kung Pao wings. And these are the off-menu seaweed chips. Ooh. And yes, we have our sour, the habanero jungle bird. Let's go. Now, long-term viewers of the page might remember we actually did some good. Oh, that's got a that's got a warm sour kick to that. Amazing. Oh yeah. Long-term viewers of the page might remember. We actually did a review at the other site uh, with Thackers. Hello, mate. How are you? Um, a little while ago on their wings. And I had to come and feature them again because we've been far and wide. And these are some of the most crunchy wings you can get. And let me see if they're that, see if they've still got it. See if that razzmatazz is still there. On top of that, obviously, we've got for, gone for the chips and the burger as well today. So, without further ado, let's go over the prices. This burger, Callum, £13. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's not the same price as a chicken sandwich. Much higher. But let me just fill you in and you can make your own judgment. This is crispy thigh, gochugang mayo, chilli vinegar, Asian slaw and sriracha sour cream. And, mate, it, look how it looks. Look how it looks. Properly stunning, bro. Now this is food with a bit of intent. Let's find out if it lives up to it. My God. Here we go. Huge piece of meat in there. The bottom bun, still intact. Dry as a bone underneath. Nice, soft to touch, very light bread. I can feel it in my hands now. Huge piece of chicken, here we go. Bless up everyone. I don't know how they do it, the coating is so crisp, it's so crunchy. None of the sauce, the mayo uh, can infiltrate that rock hard, crisp coating. None of it flaps. It's incredible. Check the cooking, bro. Amazing, pricey but definitely top end. They know what they're doing. Interesting, right, fries. These are the seaweed, kind of like dusted off menu as well, weren't they, Callum? Yep. Said, so what, do you like seaweed? I was like, yeah. I was like, we've got some of that as well. Wasn't it short to expect? Let's go. Yeah, that's, that's, that's delicious. Mm, okay. Oh. The more I eat, the worse that got. Wow. Not sure about them. Weird flavour. Instant flavour on my tongue. Oh, wow. Second and third chew got worse and worse. Callum, try one. Yeah, See good. what you think. Just like a little verify, verify me. Not yeah. sweet enough. Doesn't really, it yeah, makes it, gives a weird texture. Weird, weird flavour, sorry. Weird flavour afterwards, yeah. I can't work out, I need to have another one. Yeah, leaves a weird, weird flavour in your mouth. Strange flavour. Yeah, first initial flavour is good, but yeah. Chicken's out. I see whether I see whether they're not on the menu. Huh? I wouldn't be offering them out. I can see it's why people like them. If yeah, you... alright, but also, Callum, the fries are nice, aren't they? Yeah, the fries it's are good. Good fry. Good fry, yeah. Wrecked by the seaweed. Wrecked. But I suppose, bro, we've had some fun here with these products, right? That's t that is right there the main event. Widely considered and talked about as some of the best wings in London, and that's a really big statement when you've got the likes of Wingman's a couple of roads away, who they're my personal favourites. But there's something about coming to chicken sours, you get this 
nice uh, ceramics. Everything, everything feels a bit weird. It's like KFC or Magic Mushrooms, just like they say in the doorway. You see that, bro? Yep. Psychedelic chicken. Let's go. Now, these are the Kung Po wings. Uh, if I remember right, I had these before, and they were absolutely delicious. Chunky, fat wings. And just like my, my old mate Fackers would say, the viscosity of the sauce is lit up by this pressure cooker outer coating. You've got those peanuts on the outside as well. This is a treat. We've got ginger, sweetness, heat, juicy chicken. Six pieces presented like this. In central London, nine quid. <laughs> fantastic. Such a good product. Got flavour, texture, depth, and class meat. Now I'm getting the heat. Nope. They are beautiful. Um, we celebrate a lot of good food on this page. If you want to see more of that, by the way, give us a like, subscribe on YouTube if you haven't already, because our aim, our mission statement, is to try and uncover and and celebrate food like this. And these wings really are something special. The sort of wings that I would highly recommend you come and try. Chicken sours are, for me, it's a massive statement. Probably a Nat's under the elite category. But for fun, enjoyment, flavor profile, just like coming out for, for some rock solid food, probably one of my favorites. I love them. Um, another great bit of scran from Chicken Sour, wicked. All right, people, uh, time for a score. I'm gonna give this experience today, oh my God, enough person. What you can't see here, people, is, right, Danny. Let's get Danny on, go on. How are you, mate? I'm good, brother. How many people have fallen over? At least six, at least six today. There we go, look, get him on, look. What's going on, bro? I'm on you all the time. Do ya? What have you got to say to the world? Huh? What have you got to say to the world? Uh, be happy. That's it. Be happy? Yeah. Love it. Love that. See you later. See you, bro. I love that. You get a random answer. Be happy. Bless up. Anyway, six people. Yeah, at least six, at least six people. On a very flat surface, by the looks of it. There is a small curb, and it goes down over there a little bit. It's very flat, really. People are going arse over. Anyway, time for a score. Now, considering what I just said about the uh, the level what we're eating here, these have got potential to be the best. Like they really have. They're right up there. I'm telling you. Um, and for that reason, I'm gonna give them a nine out of ten. But it's a really good nine out of ten, and it's a, a nine out of ten I should be very proud of. This this food is thought about. It's served with intent, and I love it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed today's review. Um, to all the people that broke their neck on the high street today, watching us trying to film, maybe, I don't know. Get well soon. Rest in peace, whatever whatever happens, happens. Wow. That one, one fellow over there definitely broke his back. I'm telling you. He did, he did go for a while. He went over big. All right, there we have it. Enough's enough. There we go, get him on, look. He'll kill someone in that, won't he? Come on. Come on, let's have it again. Here we go. <laughs> Land speed. <laughs> That's it. I don't know about taxis. You need a fucking ambulance by the time he's done. I thought right. he was going to stack it. <laughs> Did he get nearly go? Nearly. And again, he's back. Look. It's like when we we discovered fire for the first time. My man's just discovered a bike. Mm. Enough's enough. London. You've been a pleasure. I'm over and out. See us, Big Daddy B, pugs and Matt on a mission. 
what you find is got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?